Hello. So this is the sixth lecture in the series Python for machine learning. In this lecture, we'll see functions and modules. We'll see an example of map module. And also we'll see how to run scripts in command prompt or terminal. So Python has many useful functions or inbuilt functions. We have already seen some functions like absolute. Uh, we have seen abs function or we have seen round function and also we have seen odd function ch fun, chr function so there those are some of the useful functions that are already built in the python we can use sim, we can simply call those functions and use it so these functions are organized in libraries of code called modules so these are organized into particular modules so all the mathematical functions are in, included in this math module so similarly, there are different other modules which can be imported and which can be used inside our program. So we will see how to call these functions. We will see what is this arguments and what you mean by this returning values. First, we will define what is a function. So function is a chunk of code or it's a set of lines of code and that can be called by the name to perform a particular task. We want to perform a particular task we can call by its name so it, the function will be called and the particular task can be done so when we call these functions certain data values may, may be required by these functions so these data values are known as arguments so to perform these tasks we may have to supply some data values so if you take the round function we have to supply some value like 7.563 to some data value should be supplied. Then only it will be round to a particular decimal point or decimal point. So these data values are known as arguments. It is also known as parameters in function. So after performing this function task, the function may send a result back to the program. So the, we call this task as returning a value. So this whole process is known as returning a value. So after that function completes its task, it will return a value. So if you use the round function, round of 7.8 will return 8, 8 value. So a particular value will be returned to the function. So that process is known as returning a value. We will see some examples of these functions and you will understand what is this function and how. I've taken this idle window. We have already seen this round function, round of 8.9. If you use this round function, you will get the result as 9. Or this ABS function, uh, if you want the absolute value of some number, you can use this ABS function like this. And even in the print statement, you can use this absolute function like this abs of 8 minus 9. Like this, you can use. You will write will return some value. So this 8.9 is the argument or parameter that is given to the function. And it will be, this is the name of that function. And it will be returning this value. So here, 5 minus 7 is the parameter. So it can be expressions also. The 8 minus 9 is another expression. It is a parameter that is given to the function, ABS function, and it returns a value, and the print function will print its value. Okay. And there are two types of arguments in function. One is a required argument, and second one is the optional argument. So in this case, round function, one argument is required. First argument is required. If you type here, you can see this round. So the first thing number. So number is a required argument, and number of digits may be none. We have this is a optional argument. Here this is we have given only the mandatory or the required mandate argument is 8.9. So there is another thing we can give this option also if you want to give something like 8.9. 78964 and the second argument how many digits it should be rounded if you want to round it to two digits you can simply give it as two then it will be rounded to two decimal points two fraction points so it will be 
seven nine. So this two is an optional argument. So this is a requirement argument, and optional argument may be avoided if you want though need that optional argument. So if you want to check how to use this function syndrome, you can simply type help, and if you type this route function, you will get the help of all about that function. It is number and number of digits and what this function is all about, what should be the required argument and what should be the optional argument. Next we will see modules. So all these functions are included in libraries. We call those as modules. So we will see an example of a module. We have a math module. So in order to find the math module, we have to see the math module. We have to import that math module first import math so all, all, all the mathematical functions are there in this math module so we will ask why we have not included this uh, math module for round and abs round and abs are included in built-in module so built-in module will be automatically imported when you run this program so no need to import that module if you want to use other functions like square root functions or some other functions you have to import this math module using this command import math then the math module will be imported now if you want to use a particular you can check what all functions are available in this math using this command dir of math if you check it you can see that all these functions are there exponential function pi function pi pi root pow prod radians remainder all these functions are available in this math module you can help and see what all these functions does so in like this we can import this after importing if you want to use a particular thing pi value you have to use this statement math dot gives a 3.14 so if you want to calculate the area of a circle you can use instead of pi value giving x plus k you can import this value using Math dot pi into r square, you will get the value like this. Or if you want to find the square root of a particular number, square root of math dot square root of some value five, you will get the square root of that particular uh, value. So if you want to find the help, you can simply type help math dot square root or any other function you can simply type and see so this way you can find out the, from the help and if you want to import this into the program what you have to do is after the first statement in the program you have to import all these things if you are using these functions you have to import this module so what you have to do is a map you have to import you have to use this statement what all functions you require you have to give by your request square root and your require power function like that you have to import so all these things should be imported so if you want uh, some functions you have to use this from math import by square root so if you import this functions you can simply use by value like this you need not use math dot pi or you can simply use square root of six you don't require to give math dot square root. Okay. So similar similarly you can use other functions. If you want to import all the functions from the math module, then you have to type up from math import simply mention star. So then all the functions will be all the functions will be imported and you can use all the functions from math module. But it is better to import only those particular functions which you require rather than importing all the functions. Okay, in this way you can import this function then we'll go back so we have already seen these examples optional elements so math module we have seen so functions and other resources are coded in components called math modules so we have already seen the, all these examples then program format and structure how this program format and structure will look like when you use this import function and all so whenever we start a program, we have to start with an introductory comment stating the author's name, the purpose of the program, and other relevant information, date modified, class modified, date, 
all these things can be included in the initial comment. We have already seen this as doc string in the previous lecture. Then what you have to do is you have to include all the statements like do the following. What you have to do is you have to import any modules needed right by the program. You have to use this from import like that. You have to import any modules that will be needed by the program. Then initialize important variables suitably commented from the user for input data and save the input data in some variables. Then you have to process those inputs to produce the results and you have to display the results. So in this way, the program format should be. So you have to include an optional introductory comment stating the program, what's the purpose of the program or everything. Then you have to include the statements like this. So you have to import any modules needed by the program, initialize important variables, then prompt the user for input data and store those data. Then you have to process those data to produce the results and finally you have to display the results. Next, we'll see how to run a script from a terminal or a command prompt. So if it is Windows, you have to use a command prompt to run the programs. You can use the command program one to run the programs or scripts. Then you can in Linux and Mac use the terminal. So simply what you have to do is you have to go to that particular directory and type Python dot the particular script. So I will see this program. Give some examples. So this is the Python directory where we have written some programs. You can simply check that directory. You can see there are different programs here. Hello World PY is there. We have seen the previous lecture. So how to run in this command prompt? What you have to do is you have to simply type Python that particular program. Hello World, Hello dot Y, or Hello World. That program is Hello World dot PY. You have to type like this. Then that program will be run. Hello World will be displayed. There is another program. Python. The name of the program is to add dot py. Simply type enter, you will get the, you will be prompted for input some number, second number 67, the sum will be displayed. Then there is another program to area dot py. Sorry, the program. Python, sorry, three, three area dot py. So it is, uh, you have to enter length, then you have to enter breadth, which is a floating point, and the area of that rectangle will be calculated. So these programs are already written, it is there in this directory. So what you have to do is you have to go to that particular directory where those programs are saved, then you have to type this Python dot python space then you have to use the script name dot py then you can run that program so in this way you can run programs in terminal way so then i have given some exercises you can try these exercises the first exercise is to calculate the surface area of a cube so you have to give input uh, some length of length of an edge then you have to print the surface area as output. Then you can, this is another program. This is a video rental software. So where videos are given $3 per night and old videos are given as $2 per night. So you have to write a program for that to calculate the total cost, uh, total money that should be taken from the customer from uh, by renting some videos. So the program should prompt the user for the number of each type of video and output the total cost. Then another program is there to calculate the radius of a sphere. Uh, we will get, uh, input the radius of a sphere and we will calculate the diameter, circumference, surface area and volume of the sphere. You have to use the mathematical formula simply. Then another program is to calculate the momentum. So momentum is mass multiplied by velocity. So you have to take input as mass and velocity, then you have to calculate the momentum. Then another program is to find the, you have to modify this program so that uh, we have to calculate the kinetic energy 
and you have to calculate display momentum and kinetic energy from that program. So kinetic energy equal to half a b squared. You already know this formula and all. You can simply do this program. Then sixth program is to write a program that calculates and prints the number of minutes in a year. How many minutes are there in a particular year? Then here another program light travels at three into hundred and uh, ten to say meter per second. Uh, light year is a distance. Uh, light beam travels in one year. Write a program that calculates and displays the value of a light year. Then another program is a write a program that takes as input a number of kilometers and prints the corresponding number of nautical miles. So for that, how to calculate the nautical miles and all, I have given some approximations. Using these approximations, you have to calculate the nautical miles. And another one more program is there. So you hear the employee's total pay, weekly pay should be calculated. So weekly pay means uh, a person works regularly and also he must have done some overtime also. So weekly pay this much amount should be given and overtime pay this much should be given. All those details are given in this example. So using this ex uh, data, you have to calculate the total salary or total pay that should be given to a particular employee for a particular week. So these exercises, you try these exercises. So this is a reference book I have used.